What's up guys, Chris Carlin from Android Authority here to talk about my five favorite features about the LG V20 just announced and soon to hit shelves. If you're thinking about picking one of these bad boys up then stick with me and I will take you through what I think are the very best features to be found on LG's new V20. Now, anyone who ever saw the LG V10 last year would be familiar with the secondary screen. Up top of the main screen, it can display lock screen notifications, you can have shortcuts to your recent apps or favorites, and your music playback controls or even a signature. While it was already impressive in the V10, things have only been improved in the V20 this year. Text and notifications on the V20 second screen are now larger and have higher contrast than the V10. The brightness has also been bumped up almost double from 35 nits on the V10 to 68 nits on the V20. You'll also have support from much longer character signature now, 24 digits up from 14 on the V10 and the addition of a marquee effect for longer signatures. Secondary screen is a little bit weird at first, but once you get used to it, it is indispensable and you'll wonder why no one else ever thought to use that dead space at the top of the screen. Yes, a button is actually my second favorite feature on the LG V20, but not the familiar LG power button on the back, actually this one down here. Now if you saw the renders we leaked a while back, you would be forgiven for thinking, as we did at the time, that it was a modular button like we saw on the G5. Fortunately that has not happened with the V20, it is a phone all by itself with no removable parts inside. That button on the side simply releases the catch mechanism for the removable battery cover, revealing a replaceable battery that apparently lasts 20% longer than the V10 and access to the micro SD card slot. Both of these features are great enough in their own right, but the palpable relief I felt when I first pressed that button and didn't run into a module is probably one of my favorite things about the LG V20. Now, LG has a pretty decent reputation for not having exactly the best user interface of all the Android bunch, but just as Samsung has really stepped up their game with the Galaxy Note 7 interface, so too has LG with the V20. Not only is it the first smartphone out of the box to be running Android 7.0 Nougat, but LG's implementation of Nougat is really, really good. The quick settings and the settings menu generally are crisp and clean, notifications are straight from stock Android, and of course there's quick app switching, split screen mode, and everything generally just feels really right. I mean, the icons still suck, but hey, you can't win them all. In number 4 we have the Quad DAC naturally enough. The V20 is the smartphone for audiophiles. The V10 last year held that honour as well, but the V20 has stepped things up quite considerably. Even against impressive camera enhancements like focus peaking, stabilised video and tracking focus, the audio side of the V20 still manages to be the centrepiece. The V20 supports lossless audio when recording in video as well as HD audio when recording sound alone. But the Quad DAC is the real showstopper here, reducing harmonic distortion by more than half and almost doubling the dynamic range of competitors' phones. Unfortunately for some, the Bang & Olufsen audio tuning is only headed to Asia, with other regions getting audio tuned by LG, which also means you won't be getting the B&O earbuds in the box. Large screen smartphones are a slippery bunch and metal smartphones are the slipperiest of them all, so anything a manufacturer can do to help with the occasional bump and scrape is going to be appreciated. The V20, like its predecessor, boasts military standard 810G impact resistance based around an advanced silicon polycarbonate and aircraft grade aluminum. While our V20 drop test did eventually manage to crack the glass, it took a pretty unlikely height of over 7 feet flat onto its face on a hard surface to take the display out. While there may not be much that LG can do about the strength of the Gorilla Glass display, the phone underneath it all was still working perfectly fine even after the display was cracked. And right up to the point that the display did finally crack on the V20, we were really impressed with how little damage it actually sustained on the outside, even in a metal case smartphone. LG has done a great job protecting the insides of the V20 and it should be able to withstand any bumps and scratches you can put it through in normal daily usage. 
So there you have it guys, that is my five favorite features of the LG V20. If you think I've missed something or you disagree, please hit the comments and let me know what you think are the best features of the V20 and whether you think you'll be picking up one later in the year. As always, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, like this video if you've enjoyed it, and be sure to check out our sister sites, Tad Time, Sound Guys, and VR Source. Until next time guys, keep it locked to Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android.